Right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, I want to start off by giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash, the bonds to the head elders and apostles, a great millstone who rule well and teach well. Also, want to give a shout out there to the whole for lack, to your optimists, you aquas who are sincere this truth, as well as believers of this world, but not just believers, but those as well. And again, to you, I'd like to say Shalom. All right, man, just another quick lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, and Lord willing, this lesson is edified. Now, as the, you know, the beloved elder, you know, North Carolina, I have to say, you know, uh, Hawad, he have to say in the news. <laughs> you see, we have another one in the news, man. All right, and we're just going to read the title. It says, Man 51 admits to fatally stabbing wife after he caught her cheating because he accepted nothing less than death all right and you know that's the spirit of the lord man you see because in the ancient times when when you would catch one catching uh, doing adultery man you know going off in adultery you'll put their ass to death man you see you'll 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 stone their ass man all right and again, that's just the spirit of the Lord, man. All right? Continue. Let's read a little bit. It says, a man has allegedly admitted to killing his wife after learning of her affair, claiming that he accepted nothing less than death as punishment. And, and that's absolutely right, man, in the eyes of the Lord, man. All right? Now, if I may say this, matter of fact, let's get this scripture before moving on. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 3. Um, three, so like a twenty-three, it says, "All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things are, all things edify not." Now, you know, although this is lawful, though it's not expedient in this time, man. All right, it have been plenty of brothers in this truth, man, that we have dealt with this, man. All right, but. We had to, you know, hold our composure. As hard as it is, you know, we had to hold our composure, you know, and, and have patience and accept that the fact the Lord said vengeance is his, man. All right? Our Lord Yahweh Shai got to get his before we can get ours, man. Okay? <laughs> like I said, as hard as it is, man, you, you got to believe that, man. All right? So, again, this, although it's lawful, it's not expedient, man. All right? Now, let's continue. Let's read that again. A man has allegedly admitted to killing his wife after learning of her affair, claiming that he accepted nothing less than death as punishment. Since Curtis Williams, 61, was arrested after calling 911 and allegedly confessed to killing his wife, in their home in Indiana on Tuesday. All right. And like I said, it's just the ancient spirit of the Lord, man. All right. The ancient spirit of the Lord, man. Because in the ancient times, when a, when a person commits adultery, you'll put their ass to death, man. And let's prove that. All right. Let's get it on. We're going to get the one in Leviticus. Leviticus 20 and verse 10. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. All right. So those who, who commit adultery, man, they got to be put to death. They got to be put down. All right. That's thus said the Lord. Thus said how about some of y'all shot. But see, the thing is about Esau, he let motherfuckers run free, man. You see? And therefore, you got a lot of whores in the nation of Israel. You know what I mean? Jake sleeping with other men's wives, just like this incident here. Just like this incident here. So therefore, somebody end up. You know what I mean? Getting killed and shit. Because this place is really just all out of order, man. All right? This place is, is just all out of order. And if I may say, yeah, we have, you know, before coming in this truth, 
for fully repented, man. Yeah, brother. You know what I mean, we we was, some brothers was going off doing shit like this because hey, that's why the scripture say ye Dutch is a, a generation because even you know what I mean, your own woman. You know what said um that wife should be a harlot in the streets. That's for paraphrasing. You know, even your woman you got now, she wasn't yours. You know, uh, uh, first man. And like the elder, I have to say, the elder um, Malcolm, the beloved elder, y'all say, she she wasn't, she's not yours. It was just your turn. You see, that's what you have here. You know what I mean? It, that's that's planet in the planet Earth right now, man. You know, whoredom, adultery, all this shit, man. Matter of fact, let's get real quick. Cut this nigga Esau five. All right, Isaiah 5 and 20, it says, Want to them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's what this devil doing. He got a such thing as date, going on a date on this side, man. That shit is off. Because dating ain't nothing but just fucking at the moment, man. You know, excuse my Swahili, but it's the truth. All right, that's all it is. You, you, y'all just, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Just just having sex at the moment, man. All right? That's why this nigga got to be taken out of power, man, so they can be order put back in the earth, man. And you won't have things like this happen in the kingdom of heaven. This not going to happen in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right? Now, I'm going to get one of my favorite scriptures off the get. That Proverbs. Yeah, 6 and 34. It says, For jealousy is the rage of a man. Therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. And that's what you have here. He ain't spare in the day of vengeance, man. That shit was off what she did. And she got what she deserved, man. What scripture said, whoever um perish being innocent. She got exactly what she what she deserved, man. Alright? Cause that shit is off, man. Now he's getting, you know what I mean, thrown in jail and shit. Now he got life <laughs> for murder. Which it was righteous in the eyes of the Lord, like we just read, man. And that's why this nigga Esau again, he gotta be taken out of the seat, man. All right, he got to be taken out of rulership, man. All right? Now, let's read something down in this article. Oh, man. It says, Williams... I'm, I'm scrolling down. It says, Williams spoke to the investigators as he was being treated in a hospital for the cut on his arm. Huh, I lost my head, man, he said. I have destroyed my life. Williams said that he didn't come home on Monday night. And that when he returned Tuesday morning, he found his wife in bed with another man. He allegedly chased the man from his house and claimed that his wife had stabbed him with a kitchen knife. She tried to stop me from getting him and cut me. And I'll cut her back, he said. Whoo! And when he cut her back, man, I'm guessing that he killed that motherfucker, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, you know, hey man, that's the spirit of the Lord, you know, laughing at this shit, man, because that's what she deserved, all right? That's what she deserved, man. You commend adultery. Lord ain't dealing with that shit, man. And all you, you know what I mean, you, you, you women, you know, you done done brothers wrong and shit. You know, you done went behind brothers back. Because the Lord tell you, if you offend one of these little ones, you know what I mean? You you gon' you know you gonna have a uh, what's that? A millstone tied around your neck. You know, basically, man, you don't want to offend one of the men of the Lord, man. You know, and brothers again, like I said, many brothers has went through this. All right, but let's get this. Um, Sirach thirty nine and twenty eight. That be spirits. That are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of, of, of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. 
So that's all it was, man. It was your how about some y'all shot, man, sitting that deaf angel down, you know, on that broad, man, to put her ass down, put a wicked ass down, man. All right? Because you had no business committing adultery, man. All right? And, hey, hey it don't stop there. It's going to get worse from here. You know, as you see, if you pay attention in the news, man, a lot of Evites are really getting judged right now, man. All right? They're really getting judged, man. And it's all because, you know what I mean, a lot of our women, man, are whores on this side, man. It's so sad. You know, Lord just doing a cleansing by knocking their ass off too, man. Which two-thirds of Israel is going to be knocked off, man. All right? That's thus said the Lord. But um, we're going to leave it right there at that, man. Lord willing, it was edifying, man. Till the next time I say shalom.